The long-awaited new features and the result of the Minecraft mob vote were finally announced during Minecraft Live. But what are we getting in Minecraft 1.20? Let me give you a quick overview. Next to Alex and Steve, Minecraft introduced seven new default skins. These new skins will be coming soon, there is no release date yet, but I think it's a really cool addition to the game. The next thing they announced is a small but very fun new block. Next to normal signs, we now get hanging signs. The signs can be made with all wood types, just like normal signs, and they come in three different states. First, the base state, which is hanging under a block with chains. Next up, we have the V-shaped chain. This is under a narrow block like fences or another chain. And lastly, hanging from the side. These are definitely my favorite. Just imagine the shopping district on your favorite SMP being filled with these signs. You can make the signs with stripped logs and chains. The stripped logs really give these signs a different vibe to the normal signs we're used to, and it appears you can even hang these signs diagonally. With the crimson, warped, and mangrove, we've seen a lot of new wood types being added in the last updates. And in this update, we're getting another one. Say hello to bamboo wood. The bamboo wood is a full wood set with planks, slabs, stairs, fences, doors, and even trapdoors. And next to this, they're also adding a block unique to other wood sets called bamboo mosaic. And as a little extra to the bamboo wood, the set also has a boat, but a little bit different. We're getting a raft. You can place a chest on it the same as you can with a normal boat. Boats have always been the same, so I think it's really cool we're getting this new style. I'm really wondering if you can use the bamboo planks to craft the things you normally can, like chests, since that would mean that with a bamboo farm, we'd actually get a way to get a lot of planks really easily. Next up, we're getting chiseled bookshelves. And not only do they look really cool, but you can interact with the bookshelves to store one to six books. You can store normal books, enchanted books, and even book and quills that you can use to write down all of your stories. And that isn't all! Next to that, you will be able to use these bookshelves to activate redstone. Look at this example where taking out a book triggers a secret door. Super cool if you ask me. The sides and the top of the bookshelves also have a really nice texture that blends right in with oak planks. And now what I'm most excited for, Minecraft announced camels. I always say I want more animals in Minecraft and they've definitely heard me with this one. Not only is a camel really cool, but you can also ride it with two people. The camos come with two abilities. One is called the dash, which allows you to make huge jumps over ravines or rivers. The other ability is sprint, which is especially great at night to avoid all of the mobs coming out. Another cool thing about that is that the camel is so high the mobs can reach you. Like other animals, you can also breed the camels, and you can do this using cactus, creating this cute baby camel. This also gives cactus a whole new use. And now the best part of these features. You can already play with these new features in a couple days in the new beta, snapshots, and previews. No endless waiting. And last but not least, with over half of the total votes, the winner of this year's mob vote is... The Sniffer. The Sniffer is an ancient mob that hunts underground for seeds. With the addition of the Sniffer, they are also teasing some new plants. And that wraps up the new features announced during Minecraft Live. But, as they mentioned, we are getting more. The update might seem as if they're not going to add a lot of things, but this is because the things they announced are 100% coming into the game as soon as in a couple of days in the snapshot. This is different to previous years, where they would announce a lot without the certainty that it would actually make it into a game. So that's a good change, I would say. I am very excited for Minecraft 1.20. Are you?